Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us today in this brand new tips and tricks video for 2020. We're working in XLights 2020.4 and this is the new release. The, um, the Today I was about to begin working on a sequence for a fellow and um, I went to begin using the XLite software on a brand new install of Windows onto a system after doing a couple upgrades. I just reinstalled the operating system and I realized, oh, I haven't installed the Audacity Vampire plugins. And today I figured, why not make a fresh video on the Vampire plugins? So, um, what I want to do today is I want to show you how to do that and it's really easy it's I mean it's evolved over the years so uh, we'll, we'll walk you through it but before we begin that this video is brought to you today by the PPD sequence club when you head on over to pixelprodisplays.com and sign up for the PPD sequence club you will get one awesome PPD sequence each and every month brought to you by the professionals at PPD PPD offers a huge selection of sequences that are available for you to pick up and purchase, or you could have us create your very own sequence based on songs that you prefer. So if you're interested in trying something really cool, get in the PPD Sequence Club and don't worry about your sequencing, well, at least until December. But whenever you sign up for the club, you'll have all your sequences done for you by the pros at a DIY price. So let's get right into the um, let's get right into the, the the whole Queen Mary Vamp plugin. So uh, if we go and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up, you know, it's kind of off my other screen here, xlights.org. I'll bring over my here is a uh, here is the xlights download and so forth. Um, there used to be at one time, uh, right on the main page, there was a download that took you to, and I can click on the download page, there was a download that you could download where uh, you would install the Audacity Vampire plugins, right here, Queen Mary Vamp plugins. Uh, and what you would do is you would click on this link, and bef but before you did that, if you hadn't done this before, you had to install Microsoft Visual C++. Now, this might be something we have to do today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going to find out. And here's the reason that I knew that something was going on with the system, because I'm going to move this out of the way. Uh, Xlights has this awesome function called the Queen Mary Van plugins that allow um, Audacity to go in and or the plugins uh, are able to go in and they're able to scan through your mp3 and get the uh the the hit notes or you know different information to create timing tracks for us that we can use in our sequencing so um typically the way we used to do this was we hit the old sequence settings button up here uh if if you if you didn't hit that there used to uh well now we have a new uh functionality we have a new uh uh, function up here but you can click on this sequence settings button and you would go into timings and then on this line here you would click new and this is how you would add a new timing in um, unfortunately all the timings that are available are 50 millisecond 100 millisecond metronome and empty and then we also have this download Queen Mary Vamp plugin for audio analysis um, X lights actually will do this for you now uh, so we're going to go ahead and walk through the process. I might stumble a little bit because I haven't done it this way yet, but I know it's a new functionality that Keith added. But before I go into that, I'm going to show you something else really cool. You no longer need to go in to the settings screen here. All you have to do is hover over top of your, um, uh, and I've already renamed it because I was about to start sequencing. I was going to right click and rename it and add timing. Now this is what happens if you want to add a new timing, you don't have to go in to that icon up there and change the menu. All you have to do is literally um, right click and go in and add a new timing. When you click on the down arrow, now you have this function that shows you you're able to download Queen Mary Vamp plugins for Audacity analysis. So I'm going to do that right now, right in front of you guys. So we might stumble a little bit, but we should be okay. It says here we're about to download the Vamp plugins for your platform once to download please install them and then close and reopen X lights to use them so it just opened up a thing over here and it opened up this on my um, 
on my web browser. I'm going to click Save File. And I am going to click on that. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Next, next, install. So now it's going to install it and we'll click finish. And it looks like I'll put this out of the way. So now we have to close X lights. I'm going to save this and I'm going to close X lights. And I was working on some other stuff. And let's go ahead back in and open up X lights. All right, let's go in and we'll just we'll just create a new sequence. Uh, we'll grab some music. I'll go find some music. I don't know where the music is. Let's see. Uh, music is right there. We'll just we'll just pick one of these doesn't matter right okay doesn't matter we're just picking music and uh, I was I was as I was about to say I wanted to create a new mp3 track or not a new timing track and let's see now so when we right click we went in and all we did was right click on the new timing we wanted to add a timing and now we're on to this new timing screen and when we click down here we see a number of other functions or options so uh, what we have here and I, I, I will tell you from personal experience the ones that I find that are the most useful in my case is the uh, beats and bars those are the two most useful another one that I really like whenever I'm trying to hammer out like uh, specific uh, talking notes and talking points uh, that would be the note onset that's a very nice one to have every once in a while uh, one that you would use in with the piano effect and I've done a uh, I did an entire webinar on the piano effect that is uh, available in the pixel pro university Facebook group and uh, with the piano effect you're able to use where is it at polyphonic transcription and there's a process uh, but the polyphonic transcription is really interesting. It has some great it, polyphonics. Just translates every number, uh, every uh, note available into an individual timing mark, and it can be used for the piano tr uh, track for the piano effect. Um, a lot of these, uh, uh, some are repetitive. Like this is a tempo and beach tracker beats, and it does pretty much the same. But you could play around with a lot of these that are here. Uh, so again, I would select the beats. That's the one, bars and beat tracker, beats. And it names it for you right here in this little box, beats. And it gives you two out of four time. Uh, I have it set to four. I just go with usually the default setting. I really don't mess around with this much. And I click OK. And it processes the audio. And then it works through. And I don't even know what MP3 I selected, so... It sounds like a country song, but it looks bam, 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 bam. So it's it's about off Cowboys track right now. And pioneers, come lend your eyes and ears. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure if that's the uh, if that's the song that we <laughs> that I had in mind, but it looks like it got off track. Um, if you need to uh, adjust these, what you can do is you can deselect the timing track. You can select this here. You can delete that one. And if we want it to start here, let's just try just uh, minimize all these. We'll click and drag since no timing tracks are selected. We'll zoom back in. And let's bring this over to the very beginning. So this is how you can adjust timing tracks as well. And... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, looks pretty good. You know, so I don't know why uh, every once in a while Audacity gets a little off. Uh, that might not, that, it shouldn't be in that case. I mean, usually it's pretty, uh, usually pretty much any, um, uh, I'll go ahead and try this again in another one. Let's see. Uh, we'll create another sequence. I'll grab something a little bit more musical. Um, uh, hopefully a little bit more musical. Uh, light them up. Here we go. We'll use this. So this this has this has a little bit more. So this has a little bit more beat to it. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's go to add timing, and instead of beats, let's go to bar. Well, let's just go back to beats. That way we can see it. We'll just go with the default timing, and there we go. Um, let's zoom in and.
Yep, it looks pretty. It looks pretty solid and spot on. Um, if you want to sit there and knock out all those timings, by all means. But uh, but the beat tracker uh, in the Audacity uh, Vampire plugins, the Queen Mary plugins, uh, usually does a very decent job at standard tracks. Some don't come through as well as others, as you saw. But that's okay. You can always find ways to adjust them. Some of them may be need adjusted manually, but. Um, uh, and, it, and, and another question I guess I could answer because I do have the time to do this is um, usually people always say, uh, well, what else can the, the, the timing tracks do? Well, the timing tracks are also uh, useful for creating uh, lyric tracks and such uh, where you can have singing faces. And I have, I've done a, a previous video on that. You can look it up uh, on um, uh, look it up in the in the Pixel Pro Displays archive. There's it's it, it's definitely in there. And uh, but the other thing is is that you can use the timing tracks or timing marks with different effects. And that's a whole nother video. But I mean, as far as timing tracks go, timing tracks are just there to help you sequence. Um, they really don't uh, having having ten or twenty different you know versions of timing marks is nice but it kind of does kind of clutter up the screen so i like to keep it neat i usually have like two or three i have at the most i have three i have one that i do an outline with i have one that i use the beats for and then i have one that i like to use for what i call the hits like the big the big marks in the song like this is a big mark here i'd i'd mark it i'd select this timing mark and i'd hit a i'd hit i'd hit like a timing mark right there and i'd say bam right there whenever i whenever i want something to go off right there when that happens and uh, uh so i would i would i would say maybe make that timing mark that long and then i'd have like a down down effect or uh oh yeah we'll we'll put the so so it's a big moment, so I want something to happen. I don't know. So uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, the the Audacity Vampire plugin and install for 2020. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you haven't done yet so, please hit the subscribe button straight below here. If you like the video, please give us a like. If you enjoy the videos that PPD produces, share them with your friends, and make sure that you uh, uh, make sure that you check us out at the Pixel Pro University Facebook group. That is PPU on Facebook. And just search for it, and we'll let you in, and we'll have a great time uh, you know, teaching you and explaining things. Uh, and we do a lot of things. We have a lot of fun in the group and enjoy uh, doing different giveaways, prizes, and, and have a bunch of things that we like to do with the community. So thank you for joining me today, folks, and we will see you in the next video.